Today's game is coming live from still-burning Los Scandalous Crazy Donia, where the Porsches are all paid for, everyone's big break is still coming, and the starlets say, don't worry, baby, it's only a cold sore. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Nashville Lycans battle the Los Scandalous Volts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> the paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. First down and three. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey, yeah, Fritz, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. And, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to meet at the dice, Grim. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple.
physical game when it comes down to it. First down and nine. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. point but you never know with kickers <laughs> it's good. here comes the kicker oh, I can't wait to hear this what's the kicker Grim uh, this guy in the field oh I thought you were gonna tell me a story like here's the kicker when I turned on the light it wasn't a bra in my bed it was a chick wearing a wig First and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. <laughs> Caught for the first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the racing. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Wrestles away from that fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. up about six on the play and that'll be 
second down and four. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And this game is up for grabs. And it's first and ten. First down. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. They're back up here on first and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. First down and forever. He can go all the way. and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down to five. And the crowd goes wild! Touchdown! Touchdown! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. Second down and two. They run it for a yard. And that'll bring up third and one. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. 
Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! First down! And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. You gotta keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Oh, no, it's the sticky ball, dirty trip. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down in a mile. <laughs> And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. That's really put the oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Second down in a very lot. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and that'll bring up third and one Ooh. don't worry if he shocks you to death maybe he can shock you back to life then. oh the receiver has to make that catch now he put the team in a hole Ooh. Ooh. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this... I hope you... He just slipped away like a greased pig. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> First down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. <laughs> Pow! With the brain scrambler! <laughs> And it's they used their second time out, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And 
the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. And big deal. Missed a meat for Ray Man with a ball didn't fall out. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. That kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He'd threaten me if I didn't tip him next time. And it's first and ten. just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Just settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Third down and six. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Boom! <laughs> First and four. That ball just slides through the defense like butter. I wish they could. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Oh, 
straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Second down in a lot. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. Football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, they're all in politics, apparently. Second and three. Wow! The quarterback just threw a son. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points. Now, these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. Second down and long offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Third down and the punter is warming up. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on berserk. Or at least he could set himself on fire. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he scores! Ah, uh, this Stanford team doesn't translate quite as well in normal gravity. But he's doing his best. Better than you could do. Your dancing is like a death rattle of an overdose meth addict. I, uh, owe you an apology, Bricks. It does hurt when Junior's mean. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. That's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. 
Seven. point attempt. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, scored, did it? How good can it be? You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man! Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. I'm gonna say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. It's about a three yard pickup. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. Now that's what's so frustrating about kickers. They're all head cases. All that work and they come up empty. That sucks. And it's first and ten. half of this. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And 
and it's first and ten. Oh, that gets me every time. Like a jack in the box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and two. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too many. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. Yeah. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. There's not much time, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Pick up 
bat one and didn't. Now the fans are starting to exit the stadium now because the fat lady is taking the stage. Bad relationships are like fat people. Most of them, they don't work out. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And it's first and ten. When the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. Second down in a mile. Oh, with a punishing hit. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon. I'm hungry for bacon. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. <laughs> and with one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so... It looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it does his power in the screen like a high cool. Mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second and three. 
We're at the end of the fourth quarter, and the score is tied, and that means overtime. It's a brand new game now. There's more blood on the field than players at this point, Bricks. Bricks, overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Here comes the kickoff. for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. And that'll bring up third and one. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. <laughs> the Bolts electrify the opposition and come away with a victory. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I think for admission, I expect girls dance on a ball or something. Girls, we have a lot of lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Yeah, man, I was keeping on, you know, now. You know, yeah. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.